Hey, what's up, guys? So, um, man, the Bible says that the Apostle Paul, right, somebody who, who was serving the Lord, right, somebody who had authority in the church, right, somebody who had a lot of authority and who had the rights to receive from the churches that he started, that uh, he ministered to, that he taught, um, that he was over, right? Um, it said that there was times when he didn't have much, where he, he was in lack, right? So this, this apostle, the apostle Paul, who wrote so much of the New Testament, right? An apostle of God, definitely called by God, the Lord Jesus appeared to him. It said that there was times that he lacked, he didn't have uh, a lot, right? He didn't have a lot. Um, and then there was times he said he had enough. He had enough. There was times that um, it said that he received gifts from churches and churches gave to him and he accepted their gifts and he accepted their provision and they looked out for him. And then other times he didn't even accept from a certain church um, so that they wouldn't have nothing against him and things like that. And he would be that type of example to them. Um, but what I want you guys to think about today is th those scriptures in Philippians, Philippians 4. He's talking about times when he had little, times where he had much. But in both, both of those circumstances, he was happy. He was glad. He was thankful to the Lord. Why? It says he was content. Whether he had a lot, whether he had a little, it said he was content. And that's the key for Christians today, guys. We must be content with what we have. We must be thankful to God with what we have. Whether it's a lot, whether it's just enough, whether it's just a little bit. If we are not in love with ourselves, y'all, if we're not living for the natural, earthly, temporary things of this world, if we're truly start storing up for ourselves treasures in heaven and not on earth, even when we have a little bit, we're still going to have a good day because we're still going to be thankful to the Lord and feel content. Our joy is not going to come from things, right? And that's what the Apostle Paul taught us, right? Just like he taught us the gospel of grace, just like he taught us um, certain things that we have no issue receiving from him, right? He also taught us to be content whether we have a lot or a little, no matter the situation, to be thankful to God and be content no matter what. And then he said in 1 Corinthians, in, in, in Philippians 4.13, for I can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens me. So what does the Lord Jesus Christ strengthen us to do? According to the Apostle Paul, he strengthens us to be content no matter where we are as far as provision, as far as money, as far as finances, as far as materialistic things. The Bible doesn't say the Lord Jesus Christ strengthens you. You can do all things through him. In, 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 in reference to you becoming an athlete, in reference to you becoming the best person in your class, the best worker in your job, the best this, the best that, the richest this. No, in fact, it says the opposite. It says the Lord Jesus Christ strengthens you and you can do all things through him in regards to you not having enough, you not having a lot, you lacking. It says he strengthens you to be content and to keep enduring and persevering, not giving up, not having a pity party, pouting, being all sad because you don't have this, you don't have that. It's a sin to covet what somebody else has. So, of course, the Lord wants us to be content with what we have because being content is the opposite of coveting, of wanting something else. If you're, if, 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 if you're coveting something that somebody else has, that means you're not content, which means you're not thankful and grateful for what the Lord has given you for what you have and the bible says be thankful pray with thanksgiving come on so be content today guys and remember you can do all things through jesus christ who strengthens you and that means you can still be happy and content thankful to god 
if all you have is rice and beans right now, if all you have is one car right now, a Honda Civic right now, if you still live in an apartment, if you still live with your parents, if all you have is a Bible and, and, and all you have is a church, or all you have is a Bible, all you have is a part-time job, the Apostle Paul, a.k.a. the Holy Spirit through his servant, told the church, a.k.a. you and I, be content with what you have. Don't cry. Don't desire more. Don't covet. Be content. And you can do this. You can be content. You can overcome. You can stay the course and fight the good fight of faith without coveting, without sinning against God, but being thankful to him because Jesus Christ gives you strength. Let's grow in Christ. If this video reminded you of truth, I don't care if it didn't motivate you to get rich. I don't care if it didn't motivate you to work overtime or to ask people for stuff or whatever. What I care about is that, is that it reminded you of the truth of the word of God. That it convicted you of not being thankful to God, of not being content. And it convicted you of coveting and wanting more. Never being full. Never being satisfied. That's a sin. That's carnal. That's worldly. That's why the world always talks about riches and stuff and money and this in their songs and in their movies, right? It's the American dream. Repent if you've been living for things. Repent if you're not thankful to God for what you have. Repent if you haven't been content because that goes against scripture. Amen. Don't we love scripture? Don't we love 1 Corinthians 13 that the apostle Paul wrote? He said, he said what? All these things you do mean nothing if you don't love. We love that, right? We love the love chapter, 1 Corinthians 13. We love that from the Apostle Paul. We love when he said in Galatians, come on, this is the gospel of grace. You don't have to keep the laws of the old covenant under Moses. You don't have to keep the law of the Jews given to the Jews. It's, it's by faith in Christ. We love that, Paul. That same Apostle Paul said, be content with what you have, whether it's a little, whether it's a lot. Be content. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Overcome. Don't cry about what you don't got. Thank God for what you have. Believe that he's with you, that he's your father, he's your provider. And you don't, you shouldn't. We're not supposed to live for riches. We're not supposed to live for tomorrow, plan ahead. We're supposed to be thankful for what we have. See God's kingdom and righteousness today. And he is going to take care of us. The basic necessities. Being thankful in a little, being thankful in a lot means a lot to the Lord because he wants us to be content, thankful for what he's given us. He don't want us to be greedy and covetous because covetous, coveting is a sin and it's been a sin since the Old Testament. It hasn't changed. <laughs> Amen. Share this video if somebody needs to hear this. Like this video. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Like this video and tell me whether you agree or not. Go ahead and tell me in the comments. What do you think about this? Do you believe First uh, Philippians 4.13? And if so, do you believe the verses before that? Let's grow in Christ. Come on.